around. There's so much talk and fear of violence, of protests so far today. It's been relatively calm. Do you think it will get worse after Trump's remarks? Well, I wouldn't uh, use the word fear in what's happening here in Israel. We are all, all over our history for 17 years from re-establishing uh, re our state. You know that the Israeli kingdom has turned Jerusalem uh, 30,000 years ago and nobody, no King David, not King David, non, no King Solomon and other kings ever ask for permission or de any declaration from anybody, including Arab states. So a, uh, a... since I just want to reply to a question, if you please. So speaking about what's happening here, if you remember any junction along this short history of 70 years of reconstruction or reestablishing of our state, you could meet a lot of terror, a lot of threats, a lot of violence, including war that Arab states has made against us as a response to the recognition of Truman in 48 and along a lot of stations that included uh, uh, threats. I would tell you if we are speaking about threats, I would emphasize on the threat that Iran make on Mecca and Medina that are really holy cities in Islam and they are actually under a very, very intensive attack by Iran. This is the real danger in the, in the area. At, you know, there was about 850,000 or so people who called Jerusalem home. A third of those are Arabs. Is Trump undercutting them completely, really cutting off their hope? No, no, I don't believe this. Uh, listen, the Israeli standpoint about Jerusalem and mainly about Al-Aqsa Mosque, that it is the, uh, a, a very important holy site for Islamic world, not only for Palestinians. And nobody is taking this not seriously. We even take care of this mosque much more seriously than any Arab state surrounding us. Take, uh, pay, pay attention to the fact that along this Middle East, uh, uh, churches and synagogues and, and uh, mosques are exposed on the prayers' heads. It's only the, the Aqsa Mosque that is safe and Israel allow freedom of uh, worship in Jerusalem for all religions. So nobody underestimating other religions in Jerusalem, God forbid. It's the only term in which all prayers can reach Jerusalem unlike that it was in the times of Jordan, and by the way, Jordan, even though Al-Aqsa is so important to Islam, never turned Al-Aqsa or Jerusalem into a capital of Jordan. It was always Amman.